All right, YouTube, tonight we're going to play some Death Shadow. This is David, I believe you pronounced his last name, Caps List. Um, you can find him on Twitter. I'll have everything posted below. I'm going to use his sideboard guide as well. And I'll link that below. But, yeah, this is just uh, just kind of what he's been doing here. Um, I haven't played too, too much Shadow recently. I was getting ready for Niagara Falls. So, we're just going to jump back into a league here, not talk too much about it, and just get going. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, I've got my rugby shirt on. Super dead. So, I'm a super dead. Alright, I'll have to make this larger. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, I haven't played Modern in a hot minute, so we'll get going to it. I'm going to play one League of Modern tonight. I might play one League of Legacy. Depends how tired I am. Polish to action or White Lion Void? I don't know. I, I really haven't played that much since the London Mulligan rule came out. Um, they each have their... They each have their uh, Merrick's. I would I would lean I would lean with the Leyline of the Voids until I was proven wrong because of the Mulligan rule. But you know, I'm not really going for that now. Yeah, you get the Leyline, you get the Mulligan rule though, which I'd I'd like to play more against. I haven't done that very much. Oh, we're on the play. Nice. And I'm going to keep. We have a discard spell into a Jace. So this deck doesn't have that many red cards in the main deck. So I think I'm actually just going to go fetch a Watery Grave. What do I have for red cards? One, two. Yeah, I have two red cards. I have to remember that I have one Bloodstained Mire tonight. Because that's going to get me. Two, five, I was in the lead. Good. Is that just good, Johnny? So let's take a look. I did that just to like build cards up into my graveyard. All right, so we got a good hit to start off. All right, so my opponent's hand is slower than frozen ketchup, but unfortunately, so is ours. They just play the windswept teeth. Actually, just hit. I hit the F8 button in. Now they're not playing Legacy, which is nice. Well, that's a dead draw. Uh, uh. All right. Good. Philly Boy's napping. All right, no plays. Nice. All right, so what do we need? A fetch land to hit the Skirmag Angler? That's not bad. I'm going to cycle it first because I know I'm not discarding it. Well, what can I hit? I can't hit. I should cycle it. I'm gonna do, I, wonder if they, I wonder if it actually matters. I don't know if it does. I'm going to ditch this Gurmag Angler regardless. So just in case I get a, get a way to hold this Street Wraith, I guess. I'll do it after. I don't really, I don't, I'm not really sure that it matters very. I guess I could have had an opportunity to flip my Jace, but I don't really know if I want to do that. Huh. That's like holding me. Sweet face to pitch, pitch push. I'm going to pitch a Gurmag Angler. Let's push my clear Steve out of the way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me cycle this before I commit any mana. Tilt. There's no chance this hits. There's no chance this hits, and I think I actually want to keep my Jace around as a looter for next. Well, no, I need to keep it. It's going to loot anyways. There's just actually no chance that this thing hits. So I guess I'm just going to hold it. 
not do anything. Because, like, I can discard it. Like, at least the Fatal Push clears out Steve to attack with. Anger of the Gods. Okay. That is unfortunate. So, one, two, three, four. I actually have to push this. Make it so that I can play Angler next turn. <clears throat> yep. Definitely pushing the Duder. So now I'm going to discard spell them because if they drew, like, there's a chance they draw, they drew a card there that, like, lines up. All right. Well, that's expected. But like they could have, they could have like had that in their hand and top decked a ramp spell. Um, there's literally like nothing that I want to flash back here. We've been very slow this game. Roan. It's quite the Roan. Wow, now they hit a Corsair? Gross. Into Cindervon. So they've got... So I know their hand. So i got to kill them, like, super quickly here. Need a fetch land. That's not going to do it. That's not bad, but it's not really going to do it. I'm have a feeling... Oh, well, hang on. It's going to be just insane to play my Death Shadow to push this. Right. What is pushing this dude? They already are going to make two mountains naturally anyway, so... Yeah, whatever. It doesn't do anything. This game is not turning out that well for us. Oh, just play Cinder Glades tapped and pass the turn. I can play Mountain too, because it makes so the next land comes in play untapped, which is fine. I'm just dead as a doorknob here. Because, like, e even a discard spell doesn't save me. Come here, Phil. Here we come. Yeah, we're just, like, dead a million ways over here. I wonder if I did something wrong with my Jace. You got it. Yeah, I wonder if I was supposed to, like, flip my J, be more aggressive to get it to flip. But, like, basically none of the cards that we drew this game lined up. Like, we didn't draw, like, a way to get rid of a big creature or, like, turn our shadow on. So let's look at what David's doing here. See if he's got this written down. Wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't. But Titan Shift. Minus four push. One, two, three, four. I don't see if I can actually get them all. Minus four push. Plus two disdainful stroke. Plus a snare. Plus a command. And there we go. <clears throat> what do you mean I do find a fetch? I still saw the same amount of cards, right? Either way. That was just kind of like a clunky, unfortunate mess anyways. But what are you going to do? Johnny, just do, do whatever you want. You'll be fine. If you stream, I'll send my people over to you. Uh, I'm going to mulligan. Especially now that we're in London. Alright, nice. So what do I put back? Not going to lie, I kind of want to keep this dismember because it will supercharge my draw. But I also just like don't want to get rid of any of my other cards. 
So like, I think I just gotta be an adult and get rid of this dismember. Again, I'm just gonna start dealing damage to myself. I'm gonna get a watery grave. How do I spend it? I don't know. All right, we're gonna get rid of this Steve. Then we're gonna try to stub this. And that is our game plan. We're gonna have to figure out how to deal with that flame slash, but it's not gonna be easy. I'd we'll probably buy. I don't even know. There's nothing I want that like $200 would do, you know? Like, I don't really have any needs for cards. What does that do? It doesn't really do anything, right? And I'm just going to stub this far seek. Well, I recently started playing back in favor. Why doesn't run seven full lands last night? You just you just you just pack those games in and don't worry about it. Because if you ever get to the point of the game where you have seven fetchable lands, you've already lost, and it doesn't matter. So like spending mental energy on like that just isn't worth it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Well, there's no sense in playing this Jace. It's not going to do anything. Like there are some there are some matches of magic that you're just supposed to lose. And one of those matches of magic is when your opponent has a rest in peace and you draw, well, that's not a bad draw, and you draw that many um, lands. You're just, you're, you, you can't beat that draw, so there's no sense in even playing and paying attention to it. Right, I guess we just take this. Now I play Jace. We're just super dead this turn, this game, but... What can I do here? I can actually flip my Jace next turn and Inquisition this Summoner's Pact out of my opponent's hand. Oh, jeez, I didn't get rid of that. It scared me. I don't know, he might be like... Might be fishing for something. What is this? He's getting a uh, Steve? So this must mean they hit they hit a land. Yeah. So they have Valakut, Rex Sage X. Okay. Alright, well. Jeez. Alright. Let's cycle this. All right, nice. So they're going to pay for this. I guess what I can do is Inquisition to make sure they didn't draw, like, a way to kill my shadow because it's going to be vulnerable for a little while. Like, go to three, then I can still roll up and end up battle raging with it. And then worse comes to worse, I hit the Rex Sage. Because if they drew, like, Flame Slash or Lightning Bolt, like, I'm just dead. And going up doesn't do anything. It's not going to win by milling them out. So I'm just going to flash this Inquisition back and either take the Rex Sage or take something that kills Death Shadow. Because this thing's all we got at the moment. Okay. So now we've got to hope that we just get there. Looks like it's uh, should I essentially expect to lose the game? They think you rest in peace. Yes, yeah. There's some there's some games of magic that you're supposed to lose, 
you can try to play around it. Like you can keep hands that can handle it. Like you can keep like a stubborn denial, rich hand. But like, you're just gonna lose those games. And like, that's just part of the cost of doing business. Way to deal damage myself to be nice. That's not it. Snapcast makes just nothing. They need a lot more mountains in order to be able to do anything here. So we have some time, but we don't really have a lot. But we're going to be able to counter the first primeval titan. Need a way to shorten this clock up here. Snapcast Mage is the second primeval titan, which is nice. All right, that's nice. So, six puts them to 11. Battle Rage next turn wins the game. Turn it sideways. Yeah, no problem there, sir. So now we pretty much have everything covered. Like, Like we have the second Titan covered. We can beat multiple ramp spells. And this actually just wins the game on the board because of the Battle Rage and the Jace. Bang. Let me just minus on the Rage. And we win the game. Nothing from my opponent. Well, just in case we needed more. And raise the shadow, and we're good. Jace was nice here. For sure. How's it going, Tommy Clean Socks? All right, we're going to hit submit. Hope everyone's having a good start to their day, or I guess the end of their day. It's the end of the hump week. We're on the way down. I don't like constants either, Teddy. I have not watched the documentary yet. I've been hump. I haven't been around. I think this hand's pretty bad. We can do better. This hand is great. Do I find a land? I think I want to ditch this Disdainful Stroke because these are just redraws and disruption. Like, the stroke's obviously nice, but, like, I have to find a second land. Yes, it is. I have Rage the Death Set, a, a, a Snapcaster Mage. This is nice. This is a wicked hand if we draw a second land. Suspended search, all right. All right. Now we're we're cooking here. Wow. All right. This has got to be just one of the most greediest things I've ever seen here. So, we have a couple of different things we can do here. We can take Farseek. Hope they miss. Take Farseek again. That seems kind of loose. I kind of just want to take Flame Slash. But I can do that next turn. I want to take either Tireless Tracker or Primeval Titan. You'd have been to Thoughtseize. Okay. I have to take the flame slash between this one and next one, and it's all about if I want to deal with the tire, if I want to just have to deal with this tireless tracker being a pain in the ass, or this primeval titan. 
killing me probably. All right, I know I'm going to take the Flame Slash, and I'm probably going to discard spell again next turn, so I'm going to wait till next turn to figure out what I should do again. Because, like, I know that that Flame Slash, like, 90% is probably going to have to go, so I might as well just... Um, wow, there is no justice in the world. So now I can either cantrip or take the Primeval Titan. I don't think I'm going to take the Tireless Tracker. I actually think I just want to cantrip. Play Death Shadow and cantrip. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Shadow and then cantrip. But I'm going to take this Primeval Titan eventually. And then I'm just going to try to figure it out with this Tireless Tracker. Which cantripping will help me to do here? Because like they're gonna get to the mana that they need to cast this Titan, so well, at least it came into play tapped. I'm going to actually just hit the yield until next end step button. Hopefully they don't hit another land. So they go far seek, far seek. All right, it doesn't appear like they're doing that. All right, this is a, uh, okay, so we know their hand. All right, that was not a good draw. We hit a dismember though. So I think we start by bobbling ourselves, checking out our top card. Stubborn Denial. How does that change the equation? So we know these three cards here. It doesn't really do a lot, actually. Like, Thought Seizing, like stubbing either of these two Rantals doesn't do anything. I would like to find an answer, like another answer to this Tireless Tracker here. So I actually think that I'm going to start out by Thought Scouring myself. No, I don't want to scour them because like, I don't know anything about them. I know I don't want this Stubborn Denial, though. All right, we're doing it here. So if I go to 5, 6, then, yeah, thank you. So if I go to 6, then Battle Rage is lethal. It's a two-turn clock. Then I might just be able to outrace the Tireless Tracker. This doesn't get a shock land. I have to remember that. I almost messed that up. There's only one blood crypt. Which messes up my math. So we're just going to take this Titan. Then attack. I draw off the bobble. I draw Street Wraith, which is like kind of good, kind of bad. Opponent plays the tracker's good. Into a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it worth stubbing this? One, two, three, four, five. Because they only get two land drops. 
No, it's not worth fishing for a stubborn denial. I'm going to hold this because my life total actually might matter. Doesn't pile it as much. When you, whenever you can manipulate it, well, that's not great. Okay, so I guess I just played Polluted Delta. The problem is if I cycle this Street Wraith, then I'm going to end up having to block. And it's just not really what I want to... Like, I want to make my opponent chump next turn. So I think what I'm going to do is play my fetch land and attack. And then next turn, I can force them to chump block. Because this deals 5, which puts them to 7. The Shock then deals it next time. So, we're just going to attack. They can't, like, they can put two, four, six. They can only make this three power next turn. They can only make it seven power. So, they can't kill us by, with just the tireless tracker. No, I don't, I don't have lethal unless I'm crazy. Am I, am I crazy? Like, might be. Two, four, six. No, because this 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 doesn't fetch me a shock land here. I can only deal myself six points of damage, which puts me at two, and they were at twelve. Yeah, so I, I didn't have lethal, or I, I couldn't force a chump block. There's only one blood crypt in the deck. So now I just have to hope. Could have bluffed it. Yes, we could have. I guess I could have bluffed it. So now we're in trouble if he has a chump blocker. Maybe I was supposed to like be more aggressive and get him to actually do it, but now I like sink his mana. All right, well there's a Valakut, and that might kill me because they if he's got a ramp spell to go with this, then the Valakut is turned on. Okay. Now I just have to remove this tireless tracker. And I have a dismember in my graveyard. I've got three Snapcaster Mages and another dismember or Battle Rage that wins me the game. So I'm going to assume that I'm just dead next turn regardless of what's going on. So I'm going to fetch, like, I'm technically deck thinning here, which, like, is kind of loose, but I can get myself to one Battle Rage is lethal anyways. I just want to, because I'm dead next turn, so I'm just going to give myself, like, the best option to draw one of my whatever, however many outs there are. This is not good to do normally, but it's what we're going to do here. All right. Oh no. Snapcaster, pay two life, got it? Okay, nice. And I just hope that our opponent doesn't have a lightning bolt. You only make this five power. No, we definitely don't attack. We have to win the game this turn because they're going to likely kill us next turn with either just making natural land drops and ramp. Or they're going to um, 
but it's making natural land drops and ramp, or they're gonna hit a fatty. All right, dude, find me a, find a way to kill me. Got a lightning bolt. What do you got? Oh, no, we got it. Nice. Ooh, close one to start. I'm going to grab some water, then I'll be right back. Awesome. Chase is slowly on your left side. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I've been telling you for a while that. I don't know. As soon as I picked this deck up, I realized that all the other blue decks suck. And that this is the one that's. That what is what you want. All right. I would like to play first. I think it's like a thought scour away from being good. Like we've already got one dead card, but we have two discard spells. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna lead off with my Watery Grave and Inquisition. So I'm a mistake that I made in my last game. And, like, just because I could fetch, but I also could just draw Bobble next turn. So then I'll, I'll want my fetch land around. Mulligan my opponent. All right, so we're playing against Hollow One. All right, we'll take this Fatal Push, I guess. Maybe that doesn't actually matter. I kind of just want to take this Fatal Push because, like, Death Shadow is such a good draw, but, like, taking these lootings is also kind of medium. I also don't have a Death Shadow. Yeah, I'm just going to take this Faithless Looting. If they don't hit, we can Thought Seize the Hollow one next turn. And, like, this is just going to, like, slow them down so much because they have to select cards that get Hollow one into play. And they have to, um... They need to, like... Make it so they can get Hollow One into play while having the lands to march up to this. It's just going to be tough for them to do. So I'm just going to take that. Yeah, I have actually no idea if Jace is that good or not. Like, I haven't played that enough with it. Like, it is kind of odd that you're playing a card that blanks light Lightning Bolt. You know what I mean? Like, your whole deck blanks Lightning Bolt, but then you're playing this this card that's, like, kind of slow that turns on Lightning Bolt. Those are pretty shitty thoughts he's overall. Like, I could have just taken his Fatal Push, but, like, that doesn't do anything. I might as well try and slow him down and hope that we don't get uh, turn one Hollow One tier. They'd have to hit a Street Wraith. So you've got, like, three draws to hit Wraith. And, like... Mulliganing on the draw with that deck sucks. Or, I mean, mulliganing or getting discard spell, having less cards with that deck is tough. You're playing Faith and Sluting. So maybe I just bailed them out of, like, a card disadvantage thing on a mulligan to six. So, I don't know. All right. Let's hope we get a little lucky here. Flame White Phoenix. All right. This I didn't hit. Flame Wake Phoenix, Warrior Foothills. So we know the hand. So I'm actually just going to... This is interesting. I think I'm actually just going to take this hollow one. Because... I could just take the goblin. I'm stupid. I'm just going to take the goblin more. I'm done. 
Yeah, we're just gonna take this Goblin Lord. I can play Angler next turn. Yeah, it's good against humans for sure. I think I'm gonna fetch a tap land in a turn. Might be a little loose to do. Like, I'll get this land. Now, I always forget that I can fetch basics. I guess I do want a red source though. So I'll just get a steam vent tapped. And then. Okay, so that can control my light total if I draw Death Shadow. So I'm just gonna get a swamp and then play Angler. Then just like hope this is enough here. Yeah, Jace is very good against humans. I definitely don't just dis don't dispute like how good the card is. Like it's 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 obviously like a very very good card. I just don't know if it's exactly what is. Like, I don't know if it's a very good if it's a good main deck card or not. You can also buy me like by saying that it's what do we got here? Oh, they have their own fish. I'm gonna kill their fish with my fit with my dismember. To be honest, I might yeah, I'm definitely just gonna pull pay full retail on this because I might end up um having to snapcaster it back. And especially with a with a second one, I just there's no sense in paying extra life. I do understand playing it if you need it to save like Sideboard slots. All right, so let's start here. I'm not going to Battle Rage this turn, even if I hit it. So they still have Fatal Push in their hand. So I'm not going to run the Shadow out there. From which Washington? So the District of Columbia or... Yeah, I'm just going to... Pay two life to dismember this. Oh, state. All right, because I'm from the I'm from the District of Columbia, or I live in the District of Columbia. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get this out of the way. More or less, it's using my mana. It's not like that card really like super matters at the moment. Recently, though, I've been unimpressed with Snap lately. Keep wanting it to be Brutality. Brutality is like a pretty poor magic card in every matchup that's not burn. Again, we're just going to tap out. I figured I had a sideboard against this. Oh, I hope David has a thing with Jigger about it. Oh, I have a sore neck. I feel like I have neck problems. Like, my neck is just always sore. Let's see if David has a sideboard about this. And I'll, and I'll post his his Twitter and his guide in my, in my, um, in the, sh in the notes there. Hollow one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so minus two Wraith, minus one Push, minus two of the Vice President, bring in here, bring in two Surgicals, bring in two of Raids, is that what he's doing? Yeah, nice. Well, that's just easy. Yeah, like snares snares a better brutality. Oh man. We just eat shit to a lightning bolt, but to a ley line, but that's life. That's what's gonna happen. Oh no, they mulliganed. No, they chose so they're having pregame effects, so we're getting ley lines. Fuck. Yeah, I I, I have a lot of uh, a lot of videos on there. I'm dead as a doorknob here. All right, well, I get to kill that. Let's 
Did I shout out? No. Um, just gonna end up killing this. Yeah, it is a cool looking ley line. It's a dissension. It's nice. So what are we drawn to? We're drawn to four shadows. Alright. Hook me up, opponent. Shit. Wow, that burning I think made our hands so much worse. All right. The good news is if we find a death shadow and our opponent can't kill it, which I'm just gonna hope that like after having like a ley line, two hands, an adept, and an inquiry, that like I'm just gonna hope that you can't kill my death shadow. Because that's like a egregious start if they can. Not going to play around Lightning Bolt. Just going to run this thing out next turn more than likely. Deal. Right, my opponent's got two cards. I would like to draw a discard spell. If I draw a Stubborn Denial, I'll wait like one turn. To play the Death Shadow. I'm going to Thought Scour myself. Because I do not want to Thought Scour my opponent. Even though I'm exiling my cards. Okay, so we hit a stub. So now we're just going to wait a turn. I'm going to fetch before I draw. Well, what happens if I... This doesn't really matter. We're trying to one-shot our opponent to the moon here. I'm going to fetch end of turn just to make it so that I don't draw one because well, I guess it doesn't matter now because my stub's still turned on. Yeah. I mean, I, I might draw like a land, not like a fetch land. So because of how the fetch land works, I can actually just play Death Shadow and still fetch to turn on Revolt because this is part of uh, paying the life is actually part of the cost. So it's, it's going to be like, even if they go target, I just sack, and then I kill their thing. I had to make sure to fetch before stubbing. Should be in a pretty good shape here, unless my opponent has two pushes. And if they have two pushes, like if you if you drew two pushes and a ley line and like a threat, then like good on you. Not even the fifth shock hurts here, because I, I go to six and I go to seven. So if they produce a blocker, I can't kill them on my way back here. So like you know. Well, we gotta hope that's not great for him, but we're gonna let it go. I guess I could stub it. Yeah, I'm just gonna stub this. And then, like, I get wrecked by push, but, like, such is life. Yeah, I think the I think playing one blood crypt is like yeah. Yep. I think playing one blood crypt is like kind of just asking for it. I don't know. That's unfortunate.
It's like we kind of have to do that because they can just burning inquiry it out of our hand, I guess. Another point, it just randomly gets you so much. All right, I'm going to kill this. All right, so my opponent says two, has two things, cards in hand, and isn't playing threats. So they probably just are loaded with removal. Yeah, I'm going to scoop it up to this. Yeah, it seems like you're just asking for it. This is five shocks. Mm -hmm. It just lets you, like, make sure you can deal the necessary damage to yourself. Control your life total well enough. Yeah, I got sunburned as all hell today. I've just been sunburned so recently. Because I'm like the definition super white, white guy. And just playing basketball outside has just gotten to me. Peter. All right. Bye bye, Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I lay lines. Lay lines are kicking the, kick the sack. When you get that W. So I'm still down here, Johnny. I actually got a second job interview at a job in Vermont. So, oh shit. Oh no, no, okay. We're good. You got it again? No, they Morgan. Got a second job interview at a position in Vermont. We did not. We did not. He was scared. He told me. Pretty good hand from our opponent. I kind of either want to take the looting or the goblin lord, because burning inquiry might actually end up helping us. I'm going to take the looting. Because if they lead on the Adept, I can stub the Goblin more. I kind of want this Burning Inquiry to happen, to be honest, to help me out here. So I'm actually just going to take this looting. There's a chance that I'll be gone in June if everything works out well. Might have been loose to take. Yep, so they played the ad app, which is what I thought they were going to do. Alright. Now we can have our cake and eat it too. So four. We should be able to play Angler next turn no matter what. Okay, so they drew that. So now I'm just going to stub this push, and then surgical the lootings. I think I want to get a blood crypt and push this thing. Because like, I want to keep my light total low enough, but and I do want a red source in case I hit a battle rage. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. Oh, I don't even have to surgical. Sick. Question is, do I want to surgical to leave something in my graveyard that's relevant? Because if I surgical, I can leave just snap stubborn denial in my graveyard. And being able to surgical and snap surgical might matter. Yeah, I'm just not going to commit anything at the moment. 
If my opponent's got a Burning Inquiry, and I might just be like, all right, whatever. Like, Burning Inquiry. Because my two cards kind of suck. All right, that's a little scary. The chance I should have looting... No, nah, it wouldn't matter. Okay, that's a little scary. Because I know they have Inquiry still. Yeah, sometimes but you, you just sometimes I get burnt out with formats. I don't really ever get burnt out playing magic. All right, so that thing is gonna do me a lot of damage. No, it's not gonna do me a lot of damage anymore. So now we'll just let them burning in us. We'll kill this in response, and then we'll. Just, you know, see where the chips flow. Because we don't want this thing then to burn in Kreas and then hit something else and then, like, have this thing be insane. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let me think here. So, what happens if I surgical looting... Snap Surgical Goblin Lore. Sack my Snapcaster a Braid and then attack them. Yeah, I guess what I'm going to do. I take two damage this way. They have a Blood Gas. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Wash this in. Sack this. And then I'll just take Goblin Lore because it's what messes me up the most, I guess. And then we got them on a two turn clock. I could just not to make it so the Blood Gas is not a haste, but like, whatever. What's actually worse? If they draw a blocker, that's worse for me, right? No, I'm just gonna take this goblin lore. I think I think like goblin lore or this burning inquiry make the weirdest make like the worst things happen to me. Alright, let me just take a look here. Okay. Well, that's, that makes this a bit easier. You got him. So what do we have coming? Just a bottle. Okay. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't a bad draw there. I was sitting there, I was like, oh, let me make my plays, yada, yada, yada. Then I was like, battle range. Mm. I love me a battle rage. Let me tell you what. Teamer battle rage. Look at that. We're 2 0 to start. It's a pretty decent plus start to the night. I should save some of that shit. Like I was I was pretty sure I had that game no matter what. I could have like saved a little bit of those good draws. Yeah, like a professional. Absolutely. I hope everyone's having a good night. I'm going to turn some lights on in here because it's getting dark in D.C. I can't read. The war cards are not on Moto yet. I don't know when the war cards get on Moto. Probably soon. Card Hoarder wants to hopefully have them be able to rent by the 29th. I have some cool... I want to place a little bit of standard. I do like. I do enjoy standard from time to time. Right, this hand's medium, but I wouldn't really keep it. 
You do a little bobble action, some of that hot bobble action to start the game off. I forget which one has the growl at my opponent. Yeah, if we have time tonight, then I'm going to play a League of Stoneblade after this. But I don't know. That'll all depend on how I'm feeling. Ya boy, Yargle. I have not seen that. I don't no, I have not seen any. No, that's what the doctor ordered. I am so good at this game. Holy shit. I really surprise myself sometimes. Ooh, do we have some hot mirror action? I'm gonna get bodied. Because I took the I was on the play. No, okay, so we're playing against We're playing against uh the four color deck. Oh, that's a nice draw. A discard spell would be like the best hit for us. Okay. Dylan, the garden is trapped just for fears. No, it's for uh it's for a growl people in a battle origin. That's pretty much it. It's for um Oh, I can't think. Derp. What's it for? It's for Dredge. It's more for Dredge than Phoenix. Sixty-five people watching tonight. I'm glad you all are hanging out. Hope you're all having a good time. You can always check the replays on YouTube. I make money on YouTube now. So you can all go over and look at that. Got to set it up. My legacy videos get, I get good views on Twitch from playing legacy, but I do not get very good YouTube. All right. So I dismember this. How do I dismember this? Because then if I draw Stubborn Denial, it's on. And the dismember might not be able to kill a Tarmogoyf for. The entire game. All right, let's. I don't know exactly how far I want to fetch down. Well, that's going to make things easier. Fetch the wrong land. Brandon Dalloway would be proud. I hope dead as a doorknob next turn. Have you seen the weird new deck people have been clearing about? Turn one Ashriok and Legacy. Yeah, I mean. Okay, that's dead. Can you tap out? Can you just tap out for me, bud? Turn one Ashriok anyway. I mean, it's just like one of those. It, it, it's just one of the dumb aspects of Legacy, which is like how good the lock pieces are. All right, there's one. Okay. So push, snap, push. We got it. Both teams played hard. I could actually kill him with Battle Rage, too. I would just rage eight points of damage on the shadow. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do it the adult way. Yeah, just, that's just like one of the dumber aspects of Legacy. Is like the power lock piece. Like I really just like, like I, I really like Legacy. And I think the fair matchups in Legacy or even playing against combo in Legacy is a lot of fun. The lock piece decks in Legacy make it so bad to play that format. That's I hate the lock piece decks. 
Because, like, the games aren't good on either side. It's like, like, even if you win, you don't do anything. You're just like, oh, I locked you out. And then you guys just trade back and forth to you eventually beat a crippled deck. Or it's like, oh, I landed something. I combat, I countered two of your cards. And then you just sit there and flounder while I just slowly kill you. I don't think he has one for the... For the cell. Engineer Explosives is, like, good not... Is probably pretty medium. Honestly, I think I might just, like, submit. There's really, there's probably no reason to have four stubborn mods in my deck. Engineer Explosives might get a two-for-one off, like, Wild Nacodles. Shadows in that, so I guess I'll bring one of those in. A Braid kills the small things, but it's not going to kill that much, especially if they play Mutagenic Growth. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. I don't, I don't really know if that's correct or not. Yeah, but it's also like... Sit there. Yeah, it's been good through the three games. But, like, are, are you playing... Like, I can't imagine that's fun for anybody. We're not playing Magic. Like, you land... Like, if you, whatever, bust out to land this turn one lock piece... This hand's going to be nuts if I draw Death Shadow. I don't think I can mulligan it, though. I might have to be pretty conservative in the street race. Like, we're, like, we're not doing anything, right? Like, we're not playing Magic. We're just doing, like, a staring contest. I kept. I'm going to keep two. And if I lose this hand, then I understand. It should be up on Cardboard Live. Like, you can look on the extension. Huh. Can anybody else not see it on the extension? Oh, that's odd. All right, I'll do. I'll, let me give it a whirl right now. Thought I fixed that. Yeah, you're good, dude. Like I messed up. I done muffed up. Configure. Um, edit deck. Clear deck and start over. In the coddle. Okay, stream magic online. Upload. Okay, right, we should be good now. Okay, so I have to find a removal spell. All right, Angler's nice. Oh, I should have... That, that was actually the wrong land to play because I wanted to fetch a basic. Okay, so I'm just going to get a basic land and thought seize. Yeah, that was actually clicked on the wrong land there and it wasn't even a joke. Jeez. Okay, so everything's going to trade. So I'm just going to take their threat. And hopefully this Snapcaster Mage gets me to where I want to be. Because like if I take this, this kills Gurmag Angler and Death Shadow. So I should just get rid of this. Hope everything trades, then Snapcaster Mage just cleans up. Yeah, but like what's the puzzle? Like Ancient Tomb Chalice of the Void? You know? Like is that is that really a puzzle? You know, like, I'm not going to say that deck's mindless to play because you have to make mulligan decisions that are difficult. But like, you know, who are we joking here? Like, you know, like, why do you enjoy that? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's what I drew. You can actually just have six. Okay, this is gone. This probably takes Gurmag Angler. Yeah. 
My opponent, Verdant Catacombs, probably cracked us for two. This is definitely a game where, like, where um, Snapcaster Mage is going to shine. All right, so that's not bad. So let's start off by cycling. Okay. Fatal Push Dismember. I'm just going to fetch an island, and I'm going to dismember this right now before they can do any becomingments or Faith Shields tricks. I have another Thoughtseize that I might fire off. Okay. So they have those two cards. So I can just go fetch shock, go to six. Thoughtseize puts me in a four. Hmm. Kind of walking the type rope here. So what I can't, I get, I have a couple different plays. Like, I can flash in this Snapcaster Mage to try and ambush this Monastery Swiss Spear, but like, that's not really gonna work. Alternatively. I can just Thought Scour, try to hit a removal spell, play a tap land, which is probably the best way to do it. Though I'm going to take at least one point from this. All right. All right, so we have, we have a Fatal Push in our graveyard, which is good. So now we can go get Watery Grave and then, like, hope our opponent doesn't kill us here. I don't know how terrible a prowess deck would be in Modern. The spells aren't good enough. It's going to be difficult for our opponent to kill us through a um, through a counterspell. They can do it. Okay. Things are getting a little scarier. Things are getting very scary. Okay, watery grave. I think I'm just dead now because because they just cast a spell on their turn. And it pumps these two, and then we die. We can't counter both of them. Yeah, our hand just got a little too clunky. We died. We died. All right, submit. On the play, we should be a little bit better off here. I'm in Mulligan. All right, this hand's a keep. Probably put back just one of these rent. Probably a thought sees. I wish this was a black land. I kind of want to put back a thought sees and just play the slow game. Because if I go like, if I put back an Inquisition. I just don't want to deal myself less damage, and they all basically trade. This doesn't get rid of Hooting Mandrels or any of the Delve cards, I guess. I'm definitely getting rid of a discard spell. Probably Thoughtseize. My opponent Mulligan Six as well. But we have a shitload of discard spells. I would love to ditch this Steam Vents, it doesn't really do anything. Well, they, they have Hooting Mandrels after Sideboard. Oh, I ditched my Thoughtsies. I always forget how, how to resolve that.
Dairy Queen Orange Queen Dip Cone wasn't as good as I was hoping. <laughs> it would be, it came out as a metal lemon. The sadness. So our opponent actually is kind of a little bit of an advantage here because they're on the draw. They like, like our resources are going to trade. Like, you know, we, we have an advantage if we get the Snapcaster Mage and like the, the Vice President, but we have to get there and I have to hit a removal spell. So I'm going to need a removal spell to win this game or I'm going to have to strip all of my opponent's removal spells. Okay, so my opponent, if I don't take Thoughtseize, I'm kind of hoping that I hit a black land, and if I take Thoughtseize, I can then take Shadow Shadow. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'd like to protect, I'm, I'm, by doing that, I'm protecting my Death Shadow. Like, yeah, their shadows are problems, but... But there are problems that we're going to have a little bit of time to deal with. Did you hit a discard spell? No. Okay, I hit a Swiss Spear. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to take a Death Shadow. Like, our Death Shadows will overpower these little creatures. Uh, what am I doing next turn? They're going to play Wild Nakatl. They're going to hit me a 16. And they're going to deal 4 to me. Oh, man, I wish this was a black line. I wonder if I should shock myself or not. Guess if I shock myself. I don't really want to shock myself. I kind of just want to buy myself as much time as possible. Because if I go to 15, they hit me to 14. I shock to 12, and they hit me to 8. And then they, yeah, I'm going to put it into play taps. Because like, we're, we're looking at, like, only eight life before I can get my shadow into play. I will regret it if I draw a black. Like, if this had been a black source, it'd be all different. But if I draw a black source, then, like, I'm going to feel a little stupid. Let's take my arrow, okay. So my opponent's going to be able to play Death Shadow and Wild Nicole this turn. I didn't think about that. All right, we are behind the eight ball here. God, we need another. So we have to hope this hits, because now we, yeah, I didn't. Okay, so maybe it wasn't even worth doing. So now my opponent cracks me for eight, and then we can play Shadow with Stub Up. Oh, no, they can crack me for more damage because of the fetch line. I forgot about that. Hopefully they don't just kill me here. This is seven, which puts me to seven. Puts me to six, excuse me. Oh right, yeah, we have to hope our opponent blanks, or we hit. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we, we can't. We actually can't cycle that. We need to get the second Death Shadow in play, and then we're in good shape. All right. My opponent finds one more spell. They kill me. So that's actually pretty bad. That's actually not bad because we're going to trade shadows and I'm going to go to one. And then my opponent's going to die. My opponent's going to die to state base effects here.
Uh oh. Sorry, opponent. Yeah, that's how Death Shadow works. <laughs> My phone goes, <laughs> I'm bad, GG's. Yeah, I mean, like, like, my opponent just didn't know. Kind of sucks. They said they should have known the interactions. I'm like, well, at least now you will. Alright. Oh, uh, did I not get like any lights on here? Look at that. We're doing it. Whew. My opponent attacked my 7-7 seven, seven shadow with a 7-7 seven, seven shadow and then five points worth of other damage. And I ate their shadow, my shadow grew. So, unfortunate. See you later, Johnny. All in all, feel, feel okay. To, yeah. What they should have done is they probably should have just passed and then hope they hit something and hope I had nothing. The second shadow was going to make things pretty difficult for them. So instead of being a 7-7 seven, seven, seven damage, it's a 12, 12 Yeah. Stay base effects are odd with Death Shadow. Basically, the easiest way to do it is, like, if your Death Shadow is a 2-2 two, two, and two Goblin Guides attack into you, you get a free block on one of the Goblin Guides, and then you get to eat it, and your Death Shadow becomes a 4-4 four, four with two damage. Zacky Chan. I'm in a mulligan. Uh, the fact that I have Thought Scour and Dismember makes me kind of like this hand. Let me take a picture of this. I wonder if Jace makes his hand any better. Hang on one second. I think I'm, I'm going to Mulligan, but I'm just wondering. Give me one second. Run Logan. Into a no lander. Nothing going on. My opponent's also tanking on this. So yeah, I think it's a mulligan, but if that watery if that island is a watery grave, I think it's a key. Hmm. 
Like, yeah, I, th I think you keep that um, if you can make black mana. It would be nice, but like that also favors, that gives some deck some advantage, right? But your opponent, you can just cut lands from your deck, you know? At least my opponent mulligan. But it's harder to get all land hands versus no land hands, right? Like you have to play an egregious amount of hands to get all lands. Then just everyone plays mana on this dredge. LOL. All right, keep. Might have been right to keep two wraiths, one land. Gross. I'm going to cycle. Like, what do I want? I want a discard spell of six or a thought scour. The VP is not bad. I am a large fan of the VP. I'm going to play another hardened scales here. Animation module, vomit. All right, well, at least I don't get to make one because they don't have any mana. All right, I am going to... I'm going to shock and push this. All right, well, that changes everything. So now... Is this going to be a watery grave? I wonder if it's actually correct to play Jace. I wish I'd have thought that before fetching. Yeah, I think it's actually correct to play Jason. I should have thought about it this before fetching. Because, like, I could be at 12, which makes Bobble a better draw. Metallic Mimic. Okay. Okay. Oh, these play a zero. Tilt. Metallic Mimic was a nice draw. Yeah, see, now I'm punished a little bit. Animation module. The fact that they had the zero mana hangerback walker was pretty nice. I'm going to shock. Probably so that I can at least stub the animation module. So we're going to try to kill this in combat and then battle rage over the top of it. I wish there were more cantrips in my deck with this Jace. How much does the second one of these actually matter? Probably not a lot. I, mean, I could have just stubbed it, but they might have a main deck this member or another one of these. I probably should have just countered it. Because what else am I using it on?
It's a little annoying. The card's obviously good when it's good. Okay. But now the the animate. Oh yeah, I should have countered the animation module because they just put two counters on this hanger back walker every turn. Sorry, I'm just gonna attack. Plus on the hanger back. Yeah, because now the hanger back. Now the hanger back and the anime. Yeah, I fucked up. For sure. Because now the hanger back walker on its own basically deals with the uh, death shadows. I would just like the option to, you know, like, you know, these bobbles, it's a little awkward. See, now they're looking to block. So they make six, seven. Yeah, I'm just not even going to kill this thing. And I'm just going to hope to find a battle rage, I guess. Should definitely counter that animation module. That was really stupid. Like, there's no need of even attacking. Because they'll just pop it and they'll have six doctors. Like, this Hangerback Walker is less scary as a 4 6 than it is with a bunch of all the thopters everywhere. Dreadhorde Arcanus. I don't know what that card does. So now, if we if we hit it, we can go Battle Rage, JVP Battle Rage. Oh, I might as well just take their last card. I don't know what, it's probably a land, but like, whatever. I'm never casting this to mean anything anyways. I should probably play my Scalding Tarn. We're dead to like Ravager. They do a lot of shit. I guess I just chump with the angler. Oh, TBR definitely saves us. Because we just go like TBR, Jace, TBR, and we rage both of them. Hey. Okay, so now they can just sack this if they want. Yeah. Battle, I'm not sure Battle Rage shaped this up in that throne of Geth. Yeah, he's just kind of being a dingus. He just got his cone off after getting his ear worked on, but unfortunately they used the shit on him again that messes with his ears. That messes with his skin. Now he's got a rash on the inside of his ears. Fucking vets. God, that shit pisses me off. It's on his chart. It says, like, don't use this allergic thing. They use the thing that he's allergic to. Now the motherfucker's a rash in his ear. Which is annoying. All right, hardened scales. We're getting rid of three rates. 
two rates. No, three rates, four stubs. Two anglers. Get rid of an engineer to explode. Get, bring in these, the Lilianas, the command, the two of raids, and the rejection and the snare. And that's how we do it. I don't know. I just have to know the time, and I, I never remember to do it. Like, ugh. I, I don't even really watch TV. All right, we're going to keep. Seems a little sketchy. Like, I, I, I definitely want something early to interact here. Like, this is the kind of hand that can just kind of grind the game out. It's been a long league. But I think we're only in match three and have been live for an hour and a half. My opponent is thinking about it, I guess. I got 3-0. Okay, this is match four. All right, let's check out our top card here, see what we got going on. Still a long modern league. I've finished modern leagues in like an hour, hour and 10 minutes. That's exactly what the daughter, doc, doctor ordered. Now I could have played my fetch line there because there's not a lot of, there's not a real big chance that I'm actually pushing on one. If I'm pushing on one, I'll be so excited. That's annoying. Okay. All right, so we're gonna smoke the shit out of this animation module next turn. This K command is gonna be hot. Definitely didn't need a shock there. Welding jar makes it not as hot. Hardened scales makes it not as good either. All right. Jeez. Okay, so I have a couple options. I could just play Liliana. I could just go K command into untap, probably K command. Jam the Liliana. But I guess Liliana is like also a way to win, puts a way to win in play. But I also like can deal with two cards right here, get rid of this artifact, and then get rid of this the turn after with the Jace. <coughs> I'll turn around and go like push a braid, which I don't hate. Yeah, I'm going to hold up Push a Braid, I think. Not super confident that that's the correct thing to do. We're going to be 100% honest. But was, maybe I should be getting my Liliana in play because it's a way to like win the game. Right. 
Ravager. Ravager's okay. Okay. So now I'm going to just use two removal spells to get rid of this Ravager. Which, I mean, basically trade this Ravager for the Welding Jars. I think I actually kind of want to make land drops. Yeah. Cast this push. Push the Ravager. And then go shatter, shock shatter when they go to respond to this. Yeah, this is pretty gross. Um, I'll get. I'm just gonna get water grave. Uh, destroy target artifact deals two damage here. Yeah, it's pretty rough. But, I mean, my opponent's deck is really good. So, like, hard scales doesn't take a lot to rebuild from that. Oh, they did just kill my Jace. This was loose. It was super loose. I didn't think about this. They get to just kill Jace. I mean, it's still a really good turn for me anyways. But... All right, so I'm just going to play this now. Start taking it up. Uh, so you have like a house of cards. We miss at one point. Utter disappointment when the cards come falling down. Yeah, I'm not sure their cards have come falling down, really, to be honest. I mean, like, all their top decks are just insane with this hardened scales. They hit a forest. Oh, so this means they must have, like... They're animating a loth, okay. Do you have, like, a pump spell? Is that what we have going on here? I can actually return my vice president. Holy shit. I can do that as well. Okay. Well, now I kind of just want to kill this hard in scales. Because this is what makes this deck go. And then I can just have Snap a Braid up for this Ink Moth Nexus. I guess I can also just hope they play another one drop. And then go like Vice President plus a Braid next turn. But a bra like the whole deck, Hardened Scales is so much scarier when it has the card Hardened Scales. So I think I'm just going to tick up, play E for one and pass. No, because then I don't, want, I don't want them to put like a hanger back walker on the stack, which is going to be like annoying anyways. Just give it less counters. Like, this Ingmont's not going to be a problem. Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, hey. No. Stop that. Why do you bark? Because no one ever comes in here. Nothing bad ever happens in here. Hey. Down. Hey, there's no growling here, Phil. None of that. You're okay, buddy. Okay. So we have to let this resolve. He's doing okay. He got his cone off, but they unfortunately went to go fix his ear, and they gave him the shit that gives him a burn again. So they gave him the wrong crap. I'm going to let this go. They get an extra counter. It's kind of annoying. But I'm going to go kill this, and then I'm going to go snap K command. It's kind of annoying. They don't do anything, because it's not reasonable for them to not do anything after they see what I just did. I'm going to pop the engineered explosives, plus on this Ravager, and pass. Yeah, the vet messed up, and they used stuff that he's allergic to, and they went to go clean out his ear before they went and stitch it. Now his ear is irritated, which just, like, pisses me off. You got the money, right, Josh? So they don't go for it, then I'm not gonna I'm not going to flash this Snapcaster Mage in. But like if they go for it with the Ravager. Okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of that hardened scales. Plus, then I'll pass. All right, I'm gonna let that go. We don't have any we don't have any counter, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, snapcaster time. I'm gonna shatter this block here. And Shatter this, shock here, and then block. Because one, two, three, they can't even. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go shatter shock and then block. So and I can do I can return the J sign E2, so destroy this, destroy this, shock this. I want to get the ink moth off the table because of this throne of Geth. I don't want that. I don't want to get a counter. Then I guess this is all going at Liliana, so maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I messed this up a little bit. Should have thought about this more. But I, I basically like kind of zoned out, and I didn't want to get a a poison counter on myself because I didn't want my opponent to start proliferating me. But now, even if they sack all the artifacts of the Arcbound Ravager. I just get him anyways. Okay, if he dismembers my Snapcaster, I guess I am in a little bit of trouble. But even if he dismembers my Snapcaster, the Liliana, the Liliana does die. I don't get Jace back. Yeah, they have dismembered. This is actually kind of a catastrophe. You are right, Avalanche.
And now I block. I do this first. Cycle. We had a Snapcaster Mage. We had Snapcaster Mage. I'm just going to roll this up and win the game with it. Not even going to worry about rolling back for the Jace. Yep, you got it. Now just get this game over with. Especially now that we have like rejection, snap rejection. And I'm just going to pass. We have triple blue up. I'll thought scour at the end of my opponent's turn if I need to. Yeah, we're in good control of this game now. The white opponent is drawing cards off the canopy, which is nice. I'm just going to reject this. And if I like, if I need to roll down, we think I can just pick up another Snapcaster Mage and have more gas when I need it. Let's see what this is before I thought sees. All right, I'm just gonna do it in case it's a dumb sticky card. All right, Nature's Claim, good to know. Opponents respecting ley line, but they probably won't after sideboard. Yeah, you got it. And give my Planeswalker a counter. All right. Now that I drew Death Shadow, I just want to roll this down because Death Shadow is going to win the game so quickly. Because, like, there's a chance they can overwhelm zombies. And like the Death Shadow is going to win faster anyway. So I'm actually just going to roll this down. I'm going to pick up. Uh, I'll actually so I can just pick up Death Shadow. I didn't realize Death Shadow was even there. Probably should have done that a while ago. Yeah, I definitely should have picked up Shadow if I knew it was there because it would have just ended the game so quickly. Now, both a Shadow and Snapcaster Mage are lethal. So, like. I don't really see how my opponent gets out of this. Hanger Rock Rocker could kind of do it. Yep. Card's annoying. I'm going to push it. Like, they can go sack an artifact to proliferate. But, like, whatever. We can start clearing stuff out. I guess he's going to get a million tokens here. Yeah, he's going to get a million tokens. Yeah, this was stupid. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I just attack? Oh, well, I guess they would have sacked the Hangerback Walker with a Throne of Geth. Yeah, I would have gotten, I mean, it would have been better for me to do it a different way, but I'll just draw Battle Rage and not to worry about it. So now they have six flyers. They have to jump with two. Liliana will eat one, so there's three. My opponent can't, can't uh, afford to attack. Yeah, I think it's already 8.30. I'm not going to play a League of Stoneblade tonight. It's already kind of late for 
for me. All right. Turn them all sideways. My opponent gets cute. The dismember will kill them. All right, they didn't get cute. Arcbound Ravager would be pretty annoying. Another Hangerback is kind of annoying. All right, well that's gonna kill them. They should. They should. They can only attack with one on board. But I'll just dismember one of them, take up the other, then a shadow gets in. God, hanger back marker is so good in this matchup. Take up, turn them sideways. Hit submit. And then hope we get them. It's going to be tough to beat this deck on the draw. This is just a bad matchup, anyways. This hand's pretty solid. Yeah, I'm going to keep. Jeez, all three games. I think I have to discard. I think I have to fetch. I don't think I can actually afford to fetch here. So I'm actually, and I'm going to use my mana next turn. So I'm just going to look at the top of my opponent's deck there. Arcbound Worker. Annoying. Oh my god, all these cards are impossible. I'm just going to take Animation Models Annoying. Hanger Rock Bar was annoying. Walking Ballista is annoying. The fact that they have that Arcbound Worker, their drawing is actually pretty solid for them. Okay, the, the Liliana checks the Animation Module. I'm going to take the Hanger Back Walker. And then hopefully we can set up the point where we Spell Snare the, um, the Walking Ballista. Which might happen. Okay, so drawing module. Here comes Arcbound Worker. Not bad. All right, there's Battle Rage. So we draw Shadow. We're in pretty good, sh a good spot. Okay, that's what they drew for the turn. So we can get a tap land here. This is how much mana to put a counter on it. Okay, so this puts two counters on it. All right. Okay, yeah, so now I'm just going to abrade this on their turn, on my turn, where they can't do anything with it. Put steam vents. That's a pretty solid draw, too. Now, I think I shock it into play because spell snaring a two drop is just so good. All right, Ink Moth is annoying. It's annoying as well. And they get to make a dude. Okay, so I can go Gurmag Angler. If I play Last Hope, then he just sinks his mana in and kills the Last Hope, which isn't great for me. Alternatively, I can play Angler, then I ditch my Abrade in the graveyard. 
I want to play Jace this turn, I think. Because then if I can get Jace and Liliana going, then it's a pretty good combination. I should just survive until I can find a way to deal to deal with this. Uh, until I can find a way to find Shadow, because this Battle Rage has already got me good here. Throne, okay. So I kind of like blocking with Jace and then flipping it because, oh, there's, he's just moving in. So I'm still just going to block with Jace and flip it. That's cute. That doesn't really do anything. We're going to go up on this. Block, sack, flip. So they can just sack this and move the counters over, which sucks. What happens if I just go to two and play Gurmag Angler? Then my Jace won't flip. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. I'm not going to play my land, as that's going to be the card that I pitch. That's bad. The turn that we take off Spell Snare... Uh, okay. All right, so we block. Flip. Guess we just get rid of this one. Pass. Jeez. Okay, so I can actually go up on this. Down a braid that still doesn't, that's still, I think I'm just dead. I can play the Gurmag Angler for a blocker. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so the Angler has to be a blocker. So I have to go like, Go up, go down a braid, and then play Gurmag Angler. They just go sack it and proliferate, I guess, put counters on everything. Hey, come on, Phil. I mean, a Death Shadow here would be nice. I guess I can actually just sack it and move it over here. So I actually think I'm just dead. Because they just put nine counters on this modular over to it. Yeah, I think I'm actually just dead. Yeah, I think I'm just dead to Ink Moth. But you never know. Well, I guess they put eight counters, so I'm not I'm not just dead, right? 
It gets eight, not seven. So I got, I got a one. I guess if they stack the proliferate correctly, right? Proliferate. They claim the worker. Okay. They put it there. I wonder if there was another line of play that I could have taken there. There probably was. I'm not sure there was a line of play that I could have taken to win the game, but I was calling on Tomato next draw would have been nice. He's maybe not tapping out, making them afraid of what I could have. I definitely didn't play it. I mean, I left myself dead on board, which is bad. But, you know, it's not great, but that's that's what we did. All right, this is going to be the last match of the night. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. A lot of tight, tight, tough matches tonight. Hopefully we just blow our opponent out of the water in the next one. Make it easy. I would like an easy one. Oh, let me put a little deck up here. Yeah, I'm pretty tired, to tell you the truth. No Stoneblade tonight. Too tired to play League of Stoneblade 2. I, I would just mess everything up. All right, Mulligan, this hand is garbage. Yeah, we're going to keep it. I will discard the island. Basically, I'm mountain. All right, playing the mono red Phoenix deck. All right, I'm going to check out my top card. If I like it, I'm going to push this, this Soul Scar Rage. If I don't, I'm going to Inquisition. If I don't, I'm going to go get a Swamp. Okay. I kind of think I have to get rid of this Swift Spear. Like, they're going to be able to lay up the stage, which sucks. Alternatively, I could just leave them without lay up the stage and kill one, and then they just have Lightning Bolt Gut Shot. And we have draw. Yeah, I'm going to take this light up the stage. We can play slow. That's not a good draw to go slow with. I don't twist fear. Not gonna bolt me. That's nice. I do have to kill this before I can do anything with that though. Because this will just shrink the angler. Should play a tap land. Then let them go nuts. Then next turn I'll play angler. Okay, opponent wants to shoot some get some spells going. Oh, they hit a light at the stage. That's not good. What are they? Manamorphos Arc Light Phoenix. All right, my opponent's going off. He's going to kill me. The last card's Lightning Bolt. They hit a fate of looting, I'm in trouble. How's it going, Jay Baseball? Okay, so then they just bolt me, they crack me for a million damage here. So then they have nothing going on. So like we are gonna take seven and go to six. And they're playing off the top. There's the VP. Well, the first one's getting looted to the second one. Uh, 
That's a nice chain off of spells for our opponent. Miss. Yeah, I'll send it over to Johnny when I'm done. All right, we shall go get Watery Grave. That's a sick draw. We shall play the president, the vice president. No. It also guarantees Jace flip if I want to flip my Street Wraith, which I don't know if I really want to cycle Street Wraith. I'm not sure I'm in that life. I could also just play a new Jace, Legend Roll It Away, then Loot, then Fatal Push. I kind of like doing that, actually. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to Legend Roll my old Jace. And then, okay, this is, I mean, I'll block. I'm not dying to Lightning Bolt. Especially when we have another one. Get closer to Jace. It's it's good. Like I don't know if it's anything like super special, but it's a good card. Oh god. Here we go. They've already cast one spell. They have a land, and they can get a Phoenix back. Yeah, I believe so. There are a couple bad things that can happen. My opponent could spin their wheels to the point where Swiss Spear is bigger than Angler, which isn't great. They could just get a Phoenix back and, like, kill me. Okay. All right, nice. That was a hit and a half. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. My opponent's just dead as a doorknob next turn. I have no idea how to sideboard against this deck. It's probably like sideboarding against Burn, except you bring in... Graveyard hate. I might not bring in Surgical. I might just bring in Ravenous Trap. Who's next? To use mana in Arena. Okay. All right. Um... I don't know. The Jaces don't seem very good. Even though they were good there, they're slow and clunky. Probably don't want these Dismembers, but I probably do want a Braids. Just want more ways to be able to make sure I can kill all their little morons. As long as I bring an Eidolon. How many two CMC cards do they have? Not that many. I'm keeping a couple Wraiths, probably. Stupid photo mana hiding in the bottom corner. I don't know. I think this is what we're going to do. Split the difference. Be a coward. The only one I want to braid, though. All right. I mean, this hand's pretty solid. Let's 
go to Death Shadow, Stubborn Denial, or Removal Spell on a Snapcaster Mage. Like, we could get whacked by 42 Phoenixes here, but, like, that's life. I have to think about how much damage I want to take. All right. Well, now I think we're just we're looking to get we're looking to go to go to town here. Excuse me. We still might take it a little bit slower. So what is this? Yeah, you just fork old me. You got it. Take two, five, ten. I still can't turn on Stubborn Denial next turn. Because I can't turn on Stubborn Denial, I think I'm just going to I'm just gonna go Fetch Shock Push. Yeah, now I'm just going to shock here. My opponent goes to bull me. I'm going to let it resolve. I guess, yeah. Got this trap. Sometimes you just need to nuke the graveyard, you know? All right, that was a sad draw. It's okay. If someone plays a critter, then I can just snap it. I'm actually just going to take this damage, I think. If my opponent wants to get frisky and send two damage at me, or send damage at me, then, like, you got it. Okay, so that is a pretty good draw. Potentially locks the game up. I mean, we're a little ways off, but it's really good. Got shot, got shot, got shot, fork bolt, bedlam reveler. So just take his bedlam reveler. I'm stubbing the hell out of uh, Faithless Looting. Okay, so my opponent hit a land drop, which is good for them. I'm just going to play Shadow and then just pass. Like, there's no sense. Like, I'm not going to do anything here. Yeah, you got it. There's a lot of gut shots. Surprised they have three gut shots in their in their deck under sideboard. Like maybe they just don't have anything to bring in, but like that's a lot of that kind of card to have. I am gonna thought scour in a turn. Alright, so that probably kills them. I know three out of the four cards in their hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I literally have stub, 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 snap, stub up. So, like, I don't really see how this goes poorly. Yeah, watch your gut before it gets shot. Ooh, I hit 1,700 followers. This is GG's. Okay. Woo, we got the 4 1. Woo. All right, let's go back to the deck. Okay, so the deck was just good. Like, it, it's always just good. I really think it's shenanigans to have only one Blood Crypt in this deck. Like, you just, it just comes up too much, in my opinion, where, like, you just need to deal, have another shock land in the deck. Um,. Jaces were solid. Had a couple 
Um, I had a couple moments where I wish I had a cantrip or something. Something to just get get me off the ground. Um, but that was really it. Besides that, the the decks, the decks, the rest of the deck, you know. I have not. I have not. Um, you know, the rest of the deck's the rest of the deck. Just a good solid, uh, good solid uh, mana base. So let me send you over to my friend John. Send you all over there. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. I want to, oh uh, shoot. I'm going to go rain. Rain. Got it. All right. We're going to send you guys over to Johnny. Johnny's one of my good friends. Give him some love.